Hey guys, my name is Hamid, and in uh, this short movie, I want to introduce you uh, a very powerful and useful plugin that you can buy from me and use it in your project. Uh, the plugin is about uh, about graph. As you know, creating a graph is not very hard, but you have to calculate many parameters and it can take your time and <coughs> there is time that you say okay I don't have so much time so forget uh, animate animated graph so just put something in Photoshop and create something in Photoshop to show it if you are a TV produce producer or something else but what I have created now can create a graph for you in couple of seconds so you can have three sort of graph. The first one is a schematic graph, like this. And the important thing is that these graphs are uh, animatable and everything, every parameter in this graph can be changed. For example, let me render one frame. As you see here, the animation as the animation grows, as the timeline, as the timelines go on, the animation grows. The line will be created, the points and the numbers and the columns names. And here you can see that everything will fill. Let me show another picture. As you see here, here we have here transparencies, and here is not yet created. So, but how to use this graph? Very simple. Oh, <coughs> at first you have to put the icons in the program files after the 3D Max 2014 UI underscore IN icon dark. And after that you have to put the uh, scripts that are macro scripts in uh, in macro script folder here I have the mac my macros here the macros are uh, graph diagram graph portion and graph schematic so let me just reset this scene don't see after you have uh, your, uh, after you have put the, the macro script in this folder and the icons, you must come to 3D Studio Max and create your own toolbar. Go to customize and go to toolbar in the category you have to choose HG macros uh -huh. these are three macros graphs our macro graph there are these are some other uh, scripts that can be <coughs> introduced maybe later so you create a new toolbar you can create 100 for example and Simply drag and drop the macros. And so, voila. You have your own toolbar. And if you don't like it, you can delete it. So I have now my toolbar here. So just see how it works. The simple graph is a diagram graph. We click on it. The first thing is number of columns. Ah, you can, the important thing is that it Everything in this uh, script is dynamic column. For example, you have six columns to uh, compare with each other. The minimum amount and the maximum amount. Let me say it's zero and 50, for example. Column offset, <coughs> the position, uh, the position of, mm, that is the position offset of uh, each column. For example, five. Grow up 
uh, column grow up frame. That means in how many frame one column will grow. We say, for example, 25. And digit after comma. If you let it to zero, we have no comma. So I let it to two, okay? After that, we have this um, window. In this window, we have to write here our column names, for example, column one or column two or whatever you want. You can say whatever you want. And here you have to put uh, the amount. The amount must be something between the minimum and the maximum of your range. For example, we had uh, between 0 and 15. So I put here 20. When I try to uh, type something as, for example, like 100, it will tell me, hey, just you have to go until 50. Forty, twenty, ten, zero. Okay. When you click OK, what you have here now, as you see, is an anima animatable graph. You have a camera, a plane. You are what you have to do is just to put some light and render it or if you want you can simply delete the camera and have your own camera but everything here is anim animatable as you see everything so you can create a full dynamically column in less than one minute so let's reset this the another is the another graph is a uh, schematic graph. It's just the same, like uh, I mean the options, like the diagram. For example, five columns, minimum one zero to ten, and the others. I let this just, and we have here. As you see, it, the transparency will go up, and we have a full dynamic, a full dynamic uh, schematic graph. In less than ten seconds, you have created this. You can have uh, some lights in another uh, scene and can merge it simply after that. And the last one is the portion graph. The portion graph is somehow different. For example, the fifth is number of portions. We say, for example, four or five. Maximum amount. Maximum amount, for example, we say 100. The point is in the portion, in the portion graph, the sum of all of you, your amounts must be go onto this number, not more. For example, if I say the maximum, my maximum amount is 100, then the five portions, the sum of the five portions must be 100 or less than 100. That's the point in the portion graph. Okay? Portion opening time, 25 frame. High offset, 3. And digit after comma, okay. So, I have, I have to keep that in my mind that my highest number is t uh, 100. So I say, for example, 10. You have to keep that in mind that this is working on percent. Uh, 20, 50, 85, 2. So 50 plus 20, 70, 80, 87. The sum of all of this is 87, less than 100. So that's OK. What we have here now, as you see, we have a graph, animatable graph. So as you can see, portion 1, 10%. 
portion to 20 persons, portion 3, 50 persons, and other portions. These are all animatable, and of course, after you have created this, you can simply go there and change the positions, and I don't need to explain that. It's very easy to do. But everything will be done in the script. So you can create a portion graph in less than 10 seconds. So with these three scripts, you can create whatever you want, and it's very powerful. So if you have any interest to have it or to buy it from me, you can just call me and email me, and I would be very glad if I hear from you. Thank you for watching. Bye.